Hey, it's Joe Roder here at Red Supply Shop. I got a new toy here. I got a water master. So I'm going to open the box. And I know it says not to use blades, but I'm being really, really, really careful um, to just barely cut the packing tape and not cut into my new toy that's inside here. So I'm not sure if I got a Kodiak or a Grizzly here. Um, but Watermaster Boats, for those that don't know, this is the ultimate personal watercraft. If I wasn't a guide and uh, didn't have a, a headhunter skiff like the one back behind me there, uh, I would only have this boat. We sell more of these boats, uh, despite them being much more expensive uh, and a premium model boat. We sell more of these than any of the inexpensive models from other competitors. That's what it looks like right there. So I've got the Kodiak right there. I got a green one, which is gonna be super handy for duck hunting and all sorts of stuff, but mostly catching trout. So feels pretty light. Uh, I think the whole thing all said and done is about 30 pounds by the time you put it in the backpack. So there's the actual boat. Come around and take a look at this side. It comes with just one strap on there. Uh, the cool thing about these boats is they're frameless, as you'll see when I put it together. We're going to put this whole thing together. There's the backrest and the seat. Uh, I'll get that put together. And then this is the backpack slash storage bag. So when I want to take this places, I can put it in this backpack and I can carry this backpack like so, hike into places that are hard to get to, and then this becomes my dry storage on the boat. And all right, we got the oars here. Um, those go together just like, like that. Not too hard to figure that out. Um, so let me get this whole thing put together. Uh, my kit came with a foot pump and uh, we're gonna get this boat set up and then I'm gonna roll across the river, give it a little test drive and try to catch trout on my nymphing rod. So let me get it put together and then we'll go fishing. Okay, so I got it all aired up, got the seat put in. Let me show you a couple of features real fast, and then I'm gonna grab my tackle, we're gonna go fishing. Uh, one thing is these oars lock in. So that's what's really nice and unique about the Watermaster is when I'm not using the oars, uh, the oar lock mechanism tucks these things neat and safely out of the way, just like that. Uh, I'm not gonna use any fins today. I'm gonna use this for transportation and I'm gonna be in the water like so, and I'm gonna be selfie filming the fishing because Jack has to go back up to the shop. Uh, I'm gonna put just a little bit more air in that. But essentially when I'm fishing, uh, I have the luxury of rowing uh, for power. I still gotta put my foot rest in there. I can row for power, and then when I'm ready to put the oars away, I just go like that, and when I see a good spot coming, I'll just put my feet down, stand up, and then this boat will be around me like that, and I'm gonna go fishing. The great thing is I can row right up to the fish, and get into all those great little spots that the big drift boats can't get to and the wade fishermen can't get to because it's too far away from an access point or they can't cross the river. So I'm gonna grab my rod and we're gonna give it a try. It took about 10 minutes, I'd say, to open the box, pump it up, and fully assemble my water master. And uh, now I'm carrying my boat for its maiden voyage down the Yakima River here. And I'm um, gonna sneak out. This is the warmest day we've had all week. It's about low 40s, I'd say. Everything's melting a little bit. Should be an opportunity to get a couple of fish this afternoon. So I'm gonna go launch this thing. Uh, while I have Jack here, I'll kind of show you the basics of how I'm gonna fish out of it. And then I'll, I'll do a selfie video of the fishing uh, as best I can on call today. Uh, that's my seat. I gotta get my backrest adjusted a little bit. Boy, there's midges everywhere. You should be fishing right here, right now like I'm about to be. So that's basically it right there. Normally my gear would go on back, my tackle bag, the, the storage bag for this becomes my dry storage and then just straps in. Oars work like this. Um, I'll come back in and give the camera a second jack. But this thing drafts 
super shallow. You can be really stealthy in this thing and just creep, creep right up to the spots you want to hit. When I'm ready to fish, I just tuck these oars in that direction. I stand up, looks like a good spot, grab my rod, and I'll go fishing just right here with the boat around me like that. The cool thing about the Watermaster is if I don't like the spot, I sit back down and keep going. And what's so different about this than like a pontoon boat, a raft, a canoe, or anything else, is I don't got to go anchor my boat against the shore, go fishing, and then hike back up and get it. I'm going to fish my way down right in this thing so the boat is with me the entire time and it makes it super efficient. So I need to adjust my footrest and move it a little bit longer because I'm a little bit cramped in here right now. But after I do that, I'm going to jam across, see if I go, can't go catch uh, the first fish out of my new Watermaster Kodiak boat. Well, that didn't take long. Watermaster is getting broken in. Got a nice one hooked up without any kind of decent way to film. So I've just got my camera laid down here on the seat of the Watermaster, which I found already this Watermaster is kind of nice. It's like wade fishing with a place to set down your stuff. So I've got flies and stuff you can't see just kind of laid out here. That's a solid trout. Um, yeah, see if I can get them on video. So there's Red's Fly Shop there. There's where I pumped up the boat. And I'm down here catching fish. Right there like that. And uh, get another look at them. Excuse the self-filming. I got him on a San Juan worm. We're going to release him right through the floor of the Watermaster. How handy is that? Pumped the boat up right there. Got out of the box. I would say within... 20 minutes of opening that box, I landed my first fish on this Watermaster. This thing's rad. So, like I said, you can set stuff down. Uh, I got my reel sleeve right there. Oh, I have my fly box back in my pocket, but at first when I was getting set up, I was setting a couple things right here, and it's a pretty nice platform, and I just stand right in the middle of this boat. Uh, this thing's great. And that was actually the second really nice fish I hooked. I was so mad I lost the first one because I was like, oh, I'll probably be the only one I get. Uh, I'm gonna fish a little bit longer. I got a few more minutes on break here that I'm gonna keep testing this thing out. See if we can get a couple more fish hooked up. Loving this boat. Looky there, another one on the Watermaster. I love trout fishing. I'm going to a bunch of cool places this year. I'm going to Cuba, Christmas Island, uh, Chile, Baja. But this doesn't get old. Home water, catching trout. So the setup I'm using, everybody always wants to know what tackle I'm using. I'm using uh, um, Echo Shadow X 11 foot 3 weight for big runs like this. Gives me a lot of reach. And uh, I'm using a San Juan Power Worm. Uh, it's like a number 8 or 10. It's got a big bead. It's tied on a scud hook. So it sinks pretty good. I'm just using one fly, but I am using 6X fluorocarbon tippet. Just sinks so much better. It's all melty and, and, and the water's coming up today. Uh, it's warmer, but the water's coming up, so I don't use San Juan's that often, but um, today is kind of the right day for it with the water rising. The fish kind of know what's supposed to happen. Nice. Another good fish. That's the third solid trout I've hooked uh, here in front of the shop, and uh, I think I'm probably going to call it good. I don't need to catch every one of my pet fish out here. Uh, I think if I just catch you couple of them for today that's good got to save a few for tomorrow and for other fishermen like you yeah i should have brought a net broke the line yeah uh, get a little hasty uh anyway more just about the water master boat uh here's what it looks like here's how it lays out two uh high quality valves the thing about the water master that's different um the only rigid part on the boat is the seat platform right there uh so you can pack it up small carry it, backpack it, somewhat of a self-bailing uh, back cargo space. You got water can drain out right there, uh, but you won't actually lose tackle or anything through there. Uh, you could put a dog on there, a kid on there, uh, tie your stuff down. I've seen people camp on this thing. Uh, I've got big plans. We've always rented these at Reds, but I've never had one to call my own. Uh, 
But this thing, it, we're going to go places in this boat. I'll tell you what, I am so delighted. And uh, I think as you get older too, you appreciate uh, fishing alone a little bit and just the adventure. And it's kind of nice to get out of the big drift boat and get into a little quieter space uh, and just fish out of this one person boat. Uh, the only uh, downsides of this style boat, um, you can use fins in these and control yourself. I'll do another video where I use fins and fish on the fly, you know, or on the move when the water comes up. The only downside is like rowing a long way. It's like if you're going to row a half mile or a mile across a lake, uh, water masters aren't the best for that. You know, a longer like nine foot pontoon better is, or pontoon boat is superior for that. But for anything on the river, small lakes, ponds, where you're not just crew rowing a long ways, the water master just kicks ass. It's the best boat that there is. We're one of the biggest dealers in the West, if not the biggest dealer, and we love this boat and customer satisfaction on this is so much higher than anything else we've sold. Just between the, uh, you know, the oars uh, that lock up out of place like that to be able to stand in the water uh, and you hardly even notice the boat around you. And after waiting in it for just a few minutes, it reminded me, you know, how much I like having the boat around me like this. I would rather fish with the water master around me than just purely wade fish. Uh, to be quite honest, I can set my rod down. Uh, I have my gear right here, my lunch, cold beer maybe on a hot day. Uh, anyway, that's unboxing the water master Kodiak. <clears throat> Caught a couple fish, got her broke in right. Look forward to doing more videos like this and sharing with you guys. Okay, I lied. This fishing is way too good to go in just yet. I had, ooh, pretty nice one. I had to get one more. And then just one more, and then just one more. Yeah, pretty good bite. Another nice rainbow. Trout are healthy right now. It was really cold the last few weeks. We had a lot of ice flow and stuff on the river. Today's one of the nicer days we've had. But this water master, ah, I know I won't shut up about it, but it is that cool. So let me get this guy, uh, let me get this guy handled and do it right. And then, uh, then there we go. Nice trout. Okay, maybe just one more cast. That's what we'll do, just one more cast. Okay, I took 10 to 15 more casts. <laughs> Another trout on. This place is awesome. <laughs> Big secret where I'm fishing. <laughs> Pretty close to Red's fly shop. <laughs> All right, let me get this guy. Scrappy 12-incher. Nice river trout. Yeah, I can handle him. Oh, I can't handle him. Oh, he's off. That's what a true barbless hook does for you. Tension comes off, he's gone. Anyway, great fishing today. I really am going to wrap it up. I'm going to reel in, I promise. I got to get back to work and go answer the phone because you're all going to be calling looking for water masters here pretty soon. These things are awesome.